So, Lauren, what do you want to leave future generations with? You know, children, grandchildren, grandchildren's children. Oh, gosh, thank you for asking. You know, we have three grandchildren. Uh, I wish we had 10. Um, <laughs> Uh, in fact, on the way to work this morning, because our uh, oldest daughter lives in the UK, so uh, Catherine, uh, Kathleen, my wife Kathleen was holding the phone, and I wasn't supposed to be looking as I was driving, by the way, but uh, little Harriet, who is one month old, and two and a half year old Amelia were on, and and then we have a nine year old grandson, and, and I want them to, um, in a perfect world, when they remember me, um, that they would look at the character triangle and go, you know, my grandfather wrote this book about uh, being self-accountable, and he taught me, and the stories about him um, informed me about what being self-accountable was. And then he was really big on the second part of the triangle, which was being respectful, mm -hmm. and that being being a really good listener and respectful and deeply inclusive of, of all human beings and recognizing that his view was only one view and that he was inclusive and respectful. And the third, that he was abundant, that he taught us how to, uh, that time and love was our most generous uh, offering and to, and he gave it. And that if they can go back and live their life somewhat being informed uh, by the fact that we're not perfect human beings and that we're verbs and we're constantly growing and that those three values as a system connected can guide us, then I will feel that I've left something um, somewhat helpful to them. Okay.